Today on the meal prep series we're making sweet and sour chicken. This is a high protein dish and it's absolutely delicious. People always say how easy it is to cook but it's not any easier than not cooking. We're going to start out with 300 grams of basmati rice and 600 milliliters of water with a pinch of salt for taste. I wash my rice ahead of time in a strainer. Jesus. Give it a stir and bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for like 15 minutes, whatever it says in the instructions. Why is it hard to make Chinese food? Because it takes a lot of wok. The prep for sweet and sour chicken is really simple. We need three capsicums, three bell peppers. You can go all red or you can go for a mixture of yellow, red and orange. Cut them in half, take out the white stuff because it's a bit bitter, and then just break out the, um, the center piece. After that, you just cut each half into about four or five slices, turn it 90 degrees, cut across, so you get reasonably chunky pieces of pepper. There you go, that's all of the peppers done. Next up we need a brown onion. Cut the top off, cut the bottom off, cut it in half, and then all you have to do is basically cut it into half moon slices. As thin or as thick as you like, although I recommend you go for a reasonably thin cut. Moving on, we're gonna need four cloves of garlic, the flat of the knife, give them a smash, and then the skin comes off really easily. Chop them up nice and finely, and put them in with your grated ginger. At this point, your rice is done, so grab your spoon and fluff your rice up. I'm pouring it into a bowl because I want it to stop cooking, and the bowl is nice and cool, and gives a wide surface area. Up next is our protein. I've got one and a half kilos of lean chicken breast, Cut each chicken breast into three or four pieces. Then turn your chopping board 90 degrees, cut across the grain of the mussel into bite-sized pieces of delicious chicken. As for the sweet and sour sauce, 125 milliliters of soy sauce. That'll give you a lovely umami flavor. 80 milliliters of store-bought pineapple juice. 40 milliliters of wash your sister sauce. To increase the acidity, add in 40 milliliters of apple cider vinegar. We're also gonna add in 40 milliliters of ketchup. And finally, our thickening agent, which is 12 grams corn flour. Give it a whisk and try and get that corn starch to mix in. It will eventually stick to the bottom, so you're gonna give it a need to the second stir as well. Add in your 80 grams of honey. In a large pan, over high heat, we're gonna add in our chopped up capsicums, bell peppers, as well as our white or brown onion. Make sure you break up your onion here, it's a good opportunity. And then we're gonna pour in 25 milliliters of vegetable oil. You might think adding a dash of soy sauce or a spoon of gochujang to be as pointless as taking off your pants to fart, but I'd highly recommend it. As an Irishman, my idea of a balanced diet is a Chinese takeaway in both hands. You don't need to cook it and keep turning it for about five to six minutes. Then you can pour it into a bowl. Next up is our protein, uh, 25 milliliters of vegetable oil, and obviously a good pinch of salt. Yeah, and that really hurt. Use a spoon to remove some of that liquid. We don't want to boil the chicken, it'll become very tough. Once the chicken's done, which takes only a few minutes, pour your vegetables in and pour your 15 grams of grated ginger, as well as your uh, garlic into the bowl and give it a good turn for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. With that all done, we can now add in our sweet and sour sauce. Make sure you give it a good mix because the cornstarch will sink to the bottom. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil for about two minutes while the cornstarch thickens up our sauce nicely. Lastly, it's completely optional, but you can sprinkle the dish with a bunch of sesame seeds. I'm recording so you can be eloquent and verbose, say things and describe what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, that's work, that works too. Yeah. Do it quickly though, because the camera's already shut down once. I think it overheats or something. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I burnt my finger. Uh, Ball. I burnt my finger. 
laying on the top of the cooker. It's very gingery again. It has ginger in it, yeah. I know, but there's ginger in it and then there's overpowering ginger. When it's not supposed to taste overpowering like ginger. 15 grams of ginger, mm -hmm. like he said. Mm -hmm. Brian Lagerstrom. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, I, I suspect it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, no, seriously, like, I like it. And I'm hard to please. The younger palate um, tends to... <laughs> like to eat it off my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant literally. She shoved her elbow in my food. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. And then she made it sound like it hurt, so I had to get it off fast. And I could only think of my mouth. So. Uh, I see. So one must do what one must do when mother sucks in um, air through teeth in pain. Um, you think it's too gingery. Mm -hmm. And babes. Mrs. Butterplant, do you think it's fine? Yeah. Is it, is it decent? Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of 10, what would you give it? Eight. Mm -hmm. Both of you would give it an eight, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want your faces in the video, or are we still just going for belly buttons and midriff? <laughs> 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 Alright. Um, I think we leave it there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gone for a second, though. Well, you only had a little bowl, yeah. Uh, do you know what it would benefit from? Pineapple chunks. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. He forgot pineapple chunks. I would add that, and I'll make this the pot of plenty, sweet and sour. Yeah. Um, I noticed in his video he forgot to put the honey in. So I had one recipe left over. I had uh, one ingredient left over, and I was like, where does this go? He, in the video, I don't think anybody noticed, but it goes into the sauce. Uh, but anyway, I, used, I really like it. I used some of the hot honey from the hot honey video. Mm. Only a tiny bit. Only about 10 grams. Mm. It's now gone. And then I used um, that honey over there. Every time you say hot honey, I think about the time I make a honey, honey toast, hot honey. Honey toast? Yeah, just butter and honey. Ah, uh, delicious combo. Really spicy. Yeah, delicious combo. Shall we leave it there? Let's yeah. stop recording. Yeah.